Hello people, I'm back for the fourth devlog. Before we start, make sure to join my Discord in the description or on the card now. It only takes one click, and if you would, uh, support me on Patreon, that'd be much appreciated. So uh, let's just get into it. Major changes, basic AI is in the game. This model is just a placeholder Unreal Engine one, so it's just for prototyping. Right now, enemies just run around, but next week I will plan to add some more advanced AI. This week was more focusing on the damage system. The damage system works on many different variables. Hit distance, damage fall off, body part, hit, and more to come. This is unique for every gun, and the damage multiplier is the percent that the damage will fall off at the gun's maximum range, and this is also dependent for every gun. At the AK's 47's max range, the damage will be 50% of the base damage. The system will figure out which body part you hit, and each body part has a damage multiplier, with for example the head having 125% damage multiplier, but the hands having less than 50% damage multiplier. I plan to slightly vary these values randomly. This all works together to advancedly calculate damage. When an AI is hit, physical animation is enabled, and a radial force is applied at the impact point meaning that this is completely dynamic and will not clip inside walls. This opens up many avenues to test lots of cool things to come. Dynamic Crosshair is now in the game. Big thanks to Osman, an Unreal for Forum moderator who made most of the programming for this one. Uh, the Crosshair is not tuned yet. But it is a good way to show your pace. Bullet traces are now in the game, although they are a work in progress, as the damage system is currently recast based. Smaller changes. The weapon system is better optimized and less dynamic for many different weapon types such as melee, throwable, and even unique things like torches. Small optimizations for certain systems. And that's about it for this week. Um, thanks for watching guys. And uh, once again, join the Discord. It is one click away and you can get updated with some interesting stuff. Okay, see ya.